new storm team. It's 547. Welcome back on your Tuesday morning, election day, and the nicest day of the week. Yeah, nice day of the week. Still cold, you know. Yep. Winds are going to start to die down, so that won't be an issue. We'll have some sunshine, lots of clouds, though, but Maybe. compared to what we're going to see later in the week, yeah. let's enjoy Brace today. Yourselves. Get out and vote. Get out prepared for this winter storm yep. that is coming. Okay. Well, we'll start this off on our weather alert map where we are seeing a winter storm watch. It starts midnight on Wednesday, goes until 12 p.m. on Friday. And again, this is a storm that, you know, this Colorado low is going to move through, could bring 6 to 12 inches of snow. Some areas localized could see more than that, could see blizzard like conditions, winds 50 miles per hour through really Thursday night. Could also see some maybe, you know, light. Uh, freezing rain chances on a Wednesday morning, so something we'll have to keep an eye on. Satellite and radar, just cloud cover moving through right now. Really, they're going to be the pictures of the sky today. Maybe some light snow flurries trying to enter the state up to the northwest, but nothing too crazy. Not as heavy as what we had yesterday and what we'll see later in the week. Temperatures right now ranging from the lower 20s all the way up to the, maybe the mid 30s. A warmer morning than what we're going to see later in the week. We got some freezing temperatures starting Friday and maybe even Saturday night. We can see Wind speeds and directions right now, 5 to say 15, 20 miles per hour from the southeast and the south. These winds will definitely start to calm as we get later in the morning into the early afternoon. Not as windy as what we're going to again later in the week with that storm. Highs today rangy, you know, down to the southeast, those mid to lower 50s, some upper 40s. As you move to the northwest, that's where temperatures start to drop into the mid to lower 30s, even some mid to upper 20s as well to the far northwest. For your precision cast, this is where we're going to be important today. Not much, maybe some light rain to the east, a snow chance to the northwest through the day. As you move into tonight, into tomorrow morning, could see a, a freezing rain chance, some rain to the south, southeast, and a, a light snow chance to the northwest tomorrow morning. That'll sort of hang around all day up to the northwest tomorrow. That snow, and then as we move into the Wednesday night, that's where that system, that Colorado low, starts to introduce itself to us. Again, Wednesday night, some freezing rain, some rain, and then mostly snow. Out to the west. That's going to continue to move to the northeast. Really, Thursday morning into maybe Thursday midday is when we're going to see the most intense snow really through the whole state on Thursday. That's going to continue to hang around Thursday night into Friday morning, probably around Friday, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. That's when we'll start to see the system leave central and western North Dakota. Now, again, this is going to probably drop baseline 6 to 12 inches of snow. Some areas localized could see more than that, maybe up to 15, 16 inches. Again, winds possible up to maybe 50 miles per hour. So we see this hazard map here, heaviest snowfall potential definitely going to be in this area right now. Again, blizzard conditions are possible as well Thursday, so something we'll have to keep an eye on. This is always a changing system as well, so if anything changes drastically, we'll be the first to let you know. Your high temps tomorrow, it's a colder one, upper teens to the maybe lower 30s. Your three-day Dickinson forecast, we got 36 tomorrow, 28 on Wednesday, 16 on Thursday. For your Williston three-day forecast, 35 on Tuesday, 21 on Wednesday. Could have dropped down to 16 on Thursday. For your Minot seven-day forecast, Got that snow chance starting there really Wednesday in Minot. You won't get as much snow there. You'll still see some snow. But after that system leaves, temperatures drop to the upper teens, lower 20s. We'll see negatives Friday night and Saturday night. It's going to be a cold one. Bismarck seven-day forecast, same thing here. Down to 22 on Thursday with that snow chance. That system leaves and temperatures drop into the teens really for the whole weekend. Again, we'll see some negatives Friday night into Saturday night. You know, even if we do get the lower end of the spectrum on this snow that's coming in, it's just like it's all new to us again, right? Yeah, so it's a brand new season. Yeah, it is. So uh, getting prepared is probably a good idea. Yes. All right, and let's hope for the less the, the less snow than yeah. more right now. Thank you, Stone. And there's plenty of.